The woods is a beautiful place, brimming with all manner of wildlife and plants. We bring our picnics, our chairs, our fire? No. Now we know the woods are here, but how did it all begin? All woodlands begin as a pond, in a process called pond succession. Now, this takes hundreds of years to happen, so for this film, we're going to count the seconds as years. Rain falls and it creates mud. Okay, a lot of mud. Which is great for some species but not great for us. As more rain falls, mud is pushed around to create indentations which will fill with water. Even we help here. Puddles begin in a marsh-like environment, which is great for animals to drink from. Wind comes and blows leaves and debris into the water. This now creates a sediment on the bottom. With the wind, seeds are blown in too. This lands in the sediment and eventually grows into vegetation. As it's still under the water, this is called submerged vegetation. Then, like all plants, this vegetation uses the sun's energy to grow until they become emerged vegetation. As the years go by, the plants and sediment within the pond become established. This creates a great home for all variety of wildlife. And at some point, either through blown wind or a bird dropping seeds into the pond, new life will begin. The sun's energy allows for germination to begin. And as the new tree grows, its roots sink deeper into the sediment and the pond water decreases as the tree uses it to grow even more. And here is the final result, a fully established tree that began from a pond. Without ponds, we wouldn't have all of our woodlands that we have today. So, is there anything you can do to help? You could begin by supporting your local wildlife and woodland trusts. They do so much good with so little income. While it's great to be outdoors, while you're on your adventures, try and limit the disturbance in managed areas. For example, don't step on flowers. Or, you could get really hands-on and create your own pond at home. By creating your own pond, you could help some of Britain's most threatened species. One of your new residents could be Europe's most noisiest amphibian. Like the common toad, it hibernates in winter and emerges late in the year, usually around April. This is the Natterjack toad. Their main threat is the loss of breeding ponds by destruction. Another threat is their quality of breeding ponds, as the encroachment of vegetation can have an impact on the pond. Another inhabitant of ponds is the tassel stonewort. It is endangered in the UK. Its threats include poor pond management and falling water table levels. One of nature's most stunning creatures also makes use of ponds as a way of living. A long green body and large clear wings, green eyes and a yellow triangle shape on its body make up the Norfolk hawker. This is now an endangered species in the UK due to changes in agricultural practices and an increase in pollution. It is vital to support your woodlands however you can. Thank you for watching.